the top 8 signs that you have high cortisol levels and how to fix it. Billions of people worldwide are completely unaware that they have high levels of a stress hormone called cortisol. The problem is that having too much cortisol can cause a range of different health problems such as high blood pressure, the formation of belly fat, muscle weakness and many other issues. So to understand this, cortisol is the main stress hormone that's very important because it helps to control inflammation in your body to prevent pain and swelling. It helps to control your sleep-wake cycle or your internal body clock. It helps to regulate your blood sugars with the help of other hormones like insulin. It controls different parts of your metabolism and how your body converts food into energy. And it's also the fight or flight hormone that helps your body adapt to danger and gives you energy to escape or fight in a threatening situation. Unfortunately, if your cortisol becomes out of balance because it's too high or too low, it can cause some major physical health problems and mental health challenges as well because of how it affects the brain. In this video, we're going to take a look at the top 8 common signs that you have high cortisol levels and why this happens so that you can become aware. I'll also be sharing some simple lifestyle changes and remedies that you can use to help bring your cortisol levels back to a healthy range. Just a quick reminder, this video is for educational purposes only, so do speak to your doctor if you have any medical concerns. The first sign is a loss of buttocks and thighs. One of the most common signs of high cortisol is when the muscles that are in your thighs and butt start to waste away but then belly fat starts to appear. You often see this in older people, especially men over the age of 50 where their legs become extremely thin and stick-like yet they get a build-up of fat around their stomach. What's happening here is the high cortisol is breaking down the muscle proteins in your legs and turning it into sugar to give you energy. And then another hormone called insulin is taking this new sugar from your blood and converting it into belly fat. High cortisol is usually caused by stress and nutritional deficiencies but we'll talk more about this later. The second sign of high cortisol is waking up in the middle of the night between 2 to 3 a.m. If you often wake up between 2 to 3 a.m. in the morning and you find that you have a very overactive mind, this is a very positive sign that you have too much cortisol in your body. You may find it very hard to get back to sleep because your brain is stuck overthinking, trying to solve problems and making plans when you should be resting and sleeping. I've personally suffered with this many, many times before I understood what was happening. You see, as cortisol controls your internal body clock, too much of it will affect your sleep and keep you very alert because your body's locked into the fight or flight mode. Number 3 is high blood pressure. You may have heard of how stress can cause high blood pressure. Well, it does this by raising cortisol. Basically, if your brain and your body thinks that there's some type of threat, it will release cortisol to narrow your arteries and trigger adrenaline to boost blood flow and give you that fast energy that you need. It does this so that you can fight or run away when there's a threatening situation, such as defending or escaping a lion or a bear for example. This reaction is perfectly normal. However, if you're suffering from sustained stress for longer periods like weeks, months or years, this puts a lot of pressure on your blood vessels and keeps your blood pressure high long term which is very dangerous because it raises the risk of heart disease or stroke if you don't get it under control. If you're finding this information useful at all, please hit the like, subscribe and turn all notifications on to stay updated with my latest health and nutrition tips. Coming back now to the fourth sign of high cortisol which is a breakout in cold sores. Cold sores are these itchy, tingly, sore blisters that appear on your lips around your mouth and they can often split and cause pain, especially when you're eating. You may have noticed that cold sores tend to break out when you're feeling low or you've recently gone through some stress in your life. So why does this happen? Well, 
Cortisol in the right amounts helps to keep your immune system working properly and it suppresses viruses like the cold sore virus so that they cause no problems in your body. However, if you recently had a surge in cortisol because of stress or perhaps you're not getting enough sleep, these viruses can come out of remission and trigger a cold sore. The same thing happens with other infections too like cold and flu. Too much stress triggers an overproduction of cortisol that lowers your immune system. Now if you suffer with any type of breathing difficulty, you'll want to pay close attention to number 5. As I mentioned earlier, cortisol helps to keep inflammation under control in the body, especially in your lungs and respiratory system. Unfortunately, if you have too much cortisol for long periods of time, you can get what's called cortisol resistance. Basically, the hormone stops working normally as it should do inside your cells. This often causes the lungs to become very inflamed and the little bronchial tubes start to get thicker and clogged up with mucus and debris. This can cause long-term lung diseases and breathing problems like asthma and COPD. This is why doctors often prescribe cortisol inhalers because your own cortisol has stopped working properly and you need a boost. Sign number 6 is very common and undiagnosed, anxiety. Anxiety is a situation where you feel constantly uneasy, tense or stressed, like there are problems that you need to solve and not enough time to do them. Even when there's nothing to worry about, you'll still find a way to worry. This is anxiety and it's caused by sustained high levels of cortisol. Your brain and your nervous system is constantly primed for attack or defense and it's locked into a state called the fight or flight mode. This keeps your muscles tight and over long periods of time you may develop chronic aches and pains in your muscles, your joints and especially around your shoulders and throat. Later in the video I'll be talking about how to get this hormone under control and turn off this anxious response. Another potential sign is number 7, acid reflux. If you have regular bouts of heartburn, acid reflux and a burning sensation in your chest, this may be triggered by high levels of cortisol or stress. You see, cortisol turns off parts of your digestive system so that your energy is focused on defense or attack. Over a long time however, the high cortisol can prevent the normal production of stomach acid, enzymes and bile which causes a flare up of acid reflux. This is why doctors often link acid reflux with stress. Lastly for number 8, I'd like to share a few bonus signs of high cortisol without going into too much detail due to the scope of this video. With high cortisol, you can get dizzy when you stand up too quickly. You may be a diabetic or pre-diabetic because cortisol can raise blood sugars. You may suffer with stomach ulcers and gastritis. You may have restless legs because cortisol is causing nerve problems. You may have frequent bouts of hiccups because of how cortisol is affecting your diaphragm. You can have hot flashes, often during or after menopause because your adrenal glands are weak. You could have brain fog because cortisol is involved with brain function and memory. You may have rosacea on your skin because of how cortisol is constricting your blood vessels. You may have purple stretch marks on your skin, especially around your belly because cortisol is causing the skin to lose its elasticity. And you may have more than one or two colds or infections a year because cortisol is weakening your immune system. Now if you have a mixture of the different signs and symptoms that we've talked about today and you'd like to know for definite if you have high cortisol, there are blood tests and hair analysis tests available. Today's video is actually sponsored by Let's Get Checked, a company that sells home blood testing kits for cortisol. These test kits are very useful because you can do them in the comfort of your own home and then send them off to the lab for analysis using a prepaid shipping label. In 2-5 to five days you'll get your cortisol level results in the app or in your online account which is nice and simple. We've teamed up with this company to bring you a 25% discount on any of the different home test kits that you order. Just use the link that's below the video and use code RyanTaylor25 at checkout and your discount will automatically be applied. 
Later in the video, I'm going to share some simple lifestyle changes that you can make to lower your cortisol naturally. But first, let's explore the root causes of why your cortisol is high in the first place. The first and most common cause of high cortisol is mental or emotional stress. The more pressure you're feeling mentally because of stressful people, work problems, issues with your spouse, etc., the more your nervous system reacts because it thinks you're in danger and triggers cortisol production. Another cause of high cortisol is not getting at least 7 to 8 hours of quality sleep each night, which can cause an imbalance in your brain chemistry and stimulate cortisol. Drinking alcohol on a daily basis can deplete nutrients like vitamin B1, which causes a buildup of nervous tension and higher cortisol. Similarly, drinking too many stimulants like caffeine, coffee, tea, soda drinks and energy drinks can burn out your adrenal glands, causing cortisol resistance. Likewise, if you're heavily using heavy amounts of steroid medications like prednisone or cortisone, these can damage your cortisol receptors so your adrenal glands just produce more and more of this hormone. And finally, just simply being overweight will raise your cortisol because of the stress it puts on your body and your fat cells start to release cortisol in an effort to keep everything balanced. Now, let's explore 6 action steps that you can take to lower your cortisol and turn off the fight or flight response. 1. Start consuming 2-3 to three tablespoons of nutritional yeast every single day. You can eat this deactivated yeast in yogurt, soups, stews or sprinkle it over your salad. The B vitamins and the minerals in these flakes will relax your nervous system, control blood sugars and balance out cortisol. 2. Follow the 4-6 breathing technique. Breathe in very slowly and gently to a count of 4 into your belly and breathe out slowly to a count of 6. You want to repeat this for just 5 minutes and you'll notice very quickly how your muscles start to relax and your thoughts start to calm down with better clarity. By controlling your breathing and your diaphragm, you stimulate the phrenic nerve and turn off the fight or flight response in your body. 3. Cut back on caffeinated drinks like coffee, tea and soda drinks until you get down to only 1 to 2 cups in the morning and absolutely no more after 2pm. Drink calming herbal teas instead like lemon balm, passion flower or peppermint because these contain phytonutrients that soothe your nerves and stimulates a relaxing brain chemical called GABA. If you wish, you can also use ashwagandha, a natural herbal supplement that helps your body adapt to stress. 4. Start performing some low stress, low intensity exercise for at least 1 hour per day, such as gentle walking outside and in nature to bring in lots of oxygen and improve your mental state. Essential oils released from plants and trees into the air actively have been shown to calm down your stress response and lower cortisol. UVB rays from the sun can also help you to make vitamin D, which also lowers cortisol. That brings me to number 5. Take 20,000 international units of vitamin D3 and 200 micrograms of vitamin K2 each day. Although it sounds high, don't be alarmed because 20,000 IUs is equivalent to one half a milligram. Vitamin D helps to repair damage to your body caused by the high cortisol, such as lowering inflammation and boosting your immune system. The vitamin K2 works with the vitamin D to move calcium around your body, which can also aid in the relaxation of muscle and strengthening your bones as a bonus. 6. Cut back on refined sugars, grains and flour-based foods that are spiking your blood sugars and triggering cortisol. Replace these processed foods with nutrient-dense whole foods like wild salmon, avocados, salad, broccoli, kefir, radish, peppers, pumpkin seeds and organic pork. All of these foods that I mentioned are rich in nutrients which promote relaxation in the body rather than revving it up. If you'd like to go a little deeper and learn about the top 6 vitamins to turn off anxiety and cortisol, go ahead and tap on this video on the screen now. Thank you so much for watching my video today and as always, I wish you great health, wealth and happiness.